What up, what up, everybody? I'm Big Waz. And I'm Nando Vila. And we are the Woke Bros. Each week, we bring you guys lefty news from a lefty perspective, man. What does that mean? That means news from the perspective of working people like you and I. Yeah, do you think the Republicans suck? And do you think that the Democrats also suck? Well, you're going to like our show because we think they both suck. <laughs> Absolutely. So if you want the news, all Skrilla, no filler, each and every Thursday, please subscribe, rate, review, wherever you get podcasts, because the Woke Bros has their own individual podcast feed. Make sure you look up the Woke Bros, subscribe to us, rate us, review us, give us five stars, and say that we're the greatest of all time. See you guys soon. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Black Opinions Matter, motherfucker. My name is Amin Al Hassan. I'm joined, as always, by Big Jerv, Black Trey, and producer Sean on the one and twos. If you are not a Patreon, man, just pause this right now. Patreon.com slash count the things. Go ahead. Check it out. Sign up. Get access to all the exclusive content. Get the special edition Cinephobe episodes. We got one coming. I'll say it. I don't care if anyone hears. For Space Jam coming out this, soon this month. We also have our bomb overflow shows. We also have our live shows. We had a great live show the other night. Me and B and Jason Madison and, and Anthony Mays. We talked about Quentin Tarantino. Is he racist? I don't know. Check out that episode if you are a Patreon. So patreon.com slash count the things. As far as our episode today, we're going to, again, preview. In a couple of weeks, we're going to start doing Oz for our show recap. So we got a little excited. So talk about that. We also went through the HBO catalog, trying to find out how many flops they have. Not too many, but they certainly have some memorable ones. We also reviewed Power, as always. Kanan, Power Book 3 or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called, but we followed the exploits of a young Kanan and asked whether his homie looks like Waz. Uh, and first, though, we got started talking about Flatbush Misdemeanors, the latest episode. Apparently, somebody gets shot. Now, Oh damn, we recording? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I can pull. I can pull. Oh, sure. oh no, you good? I'm. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just fall back, breathe easy on this one. Like, <laughs> like, 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 like it's one of those. I'm gonna say, oh, oh I got a hot mic over here. I'll let, no, I'm good. Catch. I'll, yeah. I'll let a mean catch all this. Yeah, yeah, me. You can You can these trades. The last thing I want is is uh you know my Lord and Savior to come for me, bro. Before he's coming, you... no, he's not coming for you. Let me tell you right now. Not, he gets it. That's the thing. Like Jesus gets it. <laughs> before before you even said something i was thinking that shit when i saw it i'm like man get out the fucking locker room bro oh, do, you, do you know how many people texted me but he got invited in though i know you know what that's Jerv, cool i've never been at someone's house and they say hey man come have dinner with us and you're like no nah, i'm good thank you though mrs smith i appreciate yeah. it but thank you we good right yeah has that never happened to you before no that it, 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 oh, has, it oh, has oh don't mind if i do and you sat down and put a bib on like, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, no, I'm with you, I'll be bro. I'll be real with hey. you. I mean, I, I in my day, I, I didn't really turn down too many uh too many invites for dinner, dog. Because a lot of my friends, aunties, and moms and shit can cook. So that's because I'm, hey. I'm pulling up. That's because you're classy and a great. <laughs> hey, hey, in man. the in the words of Adrian Bronner, I'm getting cooked. That's all yeah. I was seeing is a meme, bro. Every I, time, brother, brother, I wasn't getting cooked. Not I know you gonna much. listen. I know you gonna push back on that shit, but I feel like you be. Every every week I'm seeing you now on this hold shit. On, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Trey, because Trey, it's easy for me to say like when I said hell, even like me saying that the Bucks wouldn't win a game, and then they they won four in a row. I got cooked. Right. Back. When I said that uh, the Cavs, but you didn't change it. You didn't change your take, so no, it's fine with that. No, no, but I got cooked. Like they they roasted my ass, and I, I deserve it, right? When I, when I said the Cavs wouldn't come back with 3-1 down, and they did, I got cooked on that, and I deserved it. When when I wore the jeans, I got cooked on that, and I deserve it. I didn't get cooked on this shit, because all it was, was ah, how can you say that, Monty? I'm like, shut the fuck up, man. He don't even know you or care about you. I, That's like, fair, I, I'm, but... I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not wrong on that. I'm not wrong on that in that the sense that, like... I will you know, say that you're, you're not along fighting. with... I would say you're not alone in those thoughts. And a lot of people I'm that not. that a lot of people were scared to say it. And I felt like you I'm did not. the Jay-Z line, like I went through that, so you don't have to go through that. No. But it was a Agents. lot of people that felt that way. Yeah. Players 
coaches, execs, media people. I'm not talking about one or two here. Mad people said the same shit. The same shit. Yeah. But if you're the type of person who wants to look like I'm a holy person in front of Twitter and how dare like then you did your thing. But the real, they all said, yo, man, same note too, bro. That's what they all said. That's a fact. I mean, most niggas would say no. First of all, if I'm sad and you you popping shit, oh, nigga, I'm not trying to be in there. But since Giannis is a different type of black nigga, <laughs> only he's Bro, thinking even, like, huh? I won't even watch fucking Sports Center for a couple of days after my team loses. I'm not oh, walking yeah, no, up in over. the fucking locker room. It's over. No, nah, I ain't gonna lie though. I'll be like, yo, where the hoes at? <laughs> yeah, where y'all going hey, tonight? Hey, you see how James be out? Nigga, I'll be out just like James after that. Nigga, I'm not. I don't even cry when niggas die, so I ain't gonna pretend like I'm just like. <laughs> Damn, oh, Trey. Damn. Pent up. Yo, Trey, we've been talking problem. about we've been talking about death too much, G. Nah, we, we good, too much bro. death talking. <laughs> we good, bro. Let's let's segue. Are you rested so what's up? up, man? You rested Ooh. up, Trey? You got to get I've been in the group chat, bro. This shit been going up all week, my nigga. Some the it's been some what? classic. It's been some classic hoop bump in there, man. I ain't gonna name no names, but that shit been great. I needed that in my life. And today, man, I just honestly, I can honestly say that this is the first time I really missed New York. I was like, yo. Get me back. I can't wait to. There's no wrong, nothing wrong with Chicago, but I was, bro, I was there too long. And the thing was about Chicago is like, first of all, I'm only going to plug this one little thing, Sean. We went to this restaurant, my nigga, Apollonia. Oh, my God, nigga, that shit yeah. was fire. Yeah, and was we got fire. a bang for our buck. Between three people, $150. We had four different courses, my nigga. I had a bottle of fucking wine. Like, I niggas ate all my watermelon. $150 a person or $150 No, nigga, total between total. us three total, nigga. Yeah. With booze included. We weren't really sipping like that. No booze included. No. I mean, I had I had a bottle of wine by myself. A bottle. Damn. Trey? Trey talking about <laughs> I don't cry when I when people die. Trey talking about I did a whole bottle of wine. Trey, something going no, on. No, me, me and my man Dion... He had a glass, but okay. I, I mainly, I mainly had that, you know? Yeah. And, but the overall shit though, these niggas ate up all my watermelon salad and That's I barely got to eat that. Don't listen you to know? that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I will say nigga, the, the toothpick lamb is amazing at Apollonia. Yeah. Um, yes, sir. Shit is amazing, nigga. With the, you know what I'm saying? What else did I'm we just, get? You you just naming shit that that you know I just apparently I just don't make enough money to have like watermelon. You already talking about some money. Watermelon bro. watermelon salad probably isn't expensive, but that shit sounds fucking sounds, expensive as fuck. Sounds, sounds, sounds. And toothpick lamb is that different from just regular lamb? Like I don't understand. Nah, it was just like, sauteed, but it was just more served as app. You know, as a or oh. herb, like you know. Oh, okay. okay. Presentation. It was a presentation, yeah. dog. But it yeah. was it was very fire, man. The watermelon said it had the nice little feta, a little yeah. mix in there. But um, yo, I thought TV was really interesting. This you know pivot. These shows showed up today. I mean, this past weekend. This might be my favorite episode of Flatbush. I don't know. I feel it, man. I feel like I say that every week. No, every week good. though. Nah, this last week. last last week I was off that one. I ain't gonna lie. It was, was cool, all but it wasn't. It was okay. cool, but it wasn't great. You know what I'm saying? Like, this one was great because it was so much shit going on. Niggas lying to each other. You know, uh, my nigga Kevin standing up for himself. Like, it was a lot, dog. Like, for real. I was sitting there like, damn. But wait, hold on. Time out. All right. So I get Kev stood up for himself, right? Shout out to Kev for standing up for himself. But let's keep it real. If his main mans ain't behind him, you know what I'm saying? Flashing, you know what I'm saying? That was going to go a whole nother way. And Kev probably wouldn't have been as come off as. as but as that's, but that's, the, that's the dope part about it. My nigga showed up for him and he got the 500 cash. So I thought that was killer because. Also, also Kev was drunk. Let's, let's be yeah. clear on that one. Like, off, off, wait, don't forget strawberry, strawberry daiquiris. Strawberry daiquiris. <laughs> No, no disrespect to anybody that hey, strawberry daiquiris. I, I was going to say, man, I didn't, I didn't have my phase of drinking them girly drinks, nigga. Them shits was fire. Yo, when he said, I'm going to tell you right now, when he said, the white woman's special, they put me on. I said, Trey, that sounds like some shit you would say, man. <laughs> Facts, bro. I picked up I picked up Paloma from a white woman, bro. 
Shoot the Palomas, nigga. Them shits is fire. Fire. Paloma is good. Yo, y'all, 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 y'all all like family to me. And I do look forward to the world opening up and maybe one day hopping on a plane and, you know, and as a group meeting people there, not just one of us, you know, more than just the two of us meeting somewhere. <laughs> um, unless unless we on somewhere with a fucking beach or, or, or is this pool? I'm telling you right now, do not order me a strawberry daiquiri, a pina colada, a Miami Vice, a Henny colada, any of that. No, nah, I'm not. I don't want none of that Vice? shit. Now, if I'm in Miami, I'll get that shit. I get this. Nah. What about what about are we on a beach? Pie? I'm by the pool. What about are we on a beach? I'm by the pool. Are we on a beach? I'm by the pool. <laughs> nah, bro. Make 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 makers makers on the rocks. So you too cool to you are you too cool to have a mango margarita? Toxic masculinity. Not too good that no, whoa. A man see margaritas are a little different to me. Margar okay, margaritas go are ahead, a little move, different to me. Move the goalpost, brother. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm at a, if I'm at a taco spot, I should have a margarita. Okay, so nah, if you at a I spot that only serve fucking really mint juleps, buy. you're not gonna drink a mint julep. I mean, I would I, I would have a mint julep if I'm at the Kentucky Derby because that's what you're supposed to do. Right. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not going to the hood bar and they like, yo, my nigga, yo, they make a mean mint julep. Now nah, I'm good, fam. Make makers on the rocks for your boy. <laughs> You can give me a double. Hey, you can give me a bad. double if you want. This nigga too cool for school for me, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, dog. As as I sip a Lacroix, bro. I just. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, that's what I understood. That's what that shit. That shit tastes like snail slime. <laughs> no, you. I, whoa, hold on. No, I don't. Bro, no, I don't know. What, everybody don't, on this call, you don't fuck with Lacroix. I do not. It's a scam, and they made an article about it. I like seltzer oh. water. It, it don't I like the Lacroix, but so I here's the thing. I like aquapana. I like. How is it a scam? Uh, Wait, Asensia. am I drinking not water? Like, hold up, time out. Am I not bro, drinking I'll, water? Bro, I'll send like, it to you. I'll see the article, bro. I'm not about to break it down for you right okay, now. Okay, do I I'll need to stop like... drinking this Lacroix right now? Yes, bro. That's that. just a scam, okay. bro. God Same damn. Done. Aqua, so anyway. Aquapana is the elite of the elite water. Nigga, that cleanses your that cleanses your palate. Nigga, I get four bottles a day. Anyway, I don't like bubbly water. No, it's not bubbly. It's just smooth. It's flat, yeah, but it's, it's spring water. water. Yeah, it's just spring water. That's the one that you, if you go to what? an Italian restaurant, it's from the Tuscany. You know what I'm saying? You drink that shit after you have like the bread or whatever the fuck you're going to have before your meal get there. And that shit be right there. I'm old school. That and, it's in a, and it's in a glass bottle too. Just bring my, just bring my water gla with, with some ice in it. I'm old school, bro. I don't need all that <laughs> fancy shit. I used to drink water bro. out the hose outside. <laughs> Like, I don't need all this. Fly. I mean, we <laughs> all did, bro. We all did. Honestly, shouts to New York Tap. That shit fire. But Philly, you know. Philly tap water is better, bro. Just want to put you on. Chicago, Florida, Florida, Chicago Florida, tap water is the best, bro. Chicago, stop. Yeah, I need to stop. <laughs> stop no. it. No, While we're at it, Chicago deep dish piece is trash, too, by the way. D R A S H. We don't, I don't even, the locals don't even Look. eat deep dish. Look, 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 look at Sean. Like, hey, my nigga, y'all niggas out here trying to smoke my city, bro. You better stand up for Chicago, yeah, bro. Never. Harold's is overrated. Hold on, hold on. Speak, speaking of drinking Cat. out the hose. <laughs> it is overrated. Speaking of drinking super out the overrated. Hose, super overrated. That's Cat. why they got 70 of them. That's because yeah. <laughs> it's uh, a chain, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's just like McDonald's. Fridays. The hood McDonald's. Hey, 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 now hey, all you gonna say, listen, that's how Pat Beth pushed Chris Paul, man. He said Uncle Remus was better than Ben Harold's, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Remus, sauce, is, bro. Uncle Remus is a crazy name. Damn, I want to finish my LaCroix, but I don't have the no, nose. Let's just say bro, drink it, bro. You're not gonna die. God damn. Trey read something in the Variety or the New Yorker Vanity. <laughs> uh, I, wa I want to I wanna go back to like the one other thing from Flatbush. <laughs> when old girl shows up to the apartment and she pours the Smirnoff into a bowl for him because he ain't got no cups. What is the weirdest thing you've ever drank out of because you ain't had or eaten or drank out of because you ain't had no clean so, you know, oh, the Tupperware, the Tupperware shit. You know the uh, is yeah. it Glad? Is it Glad Tupperware? Yeah, with the with the purple oh, top. Yep, yep. My nigga, yes. I use that shit as a cereal bowl. I use that shit as a bowl. cup. Yes, sir. Nigga, all that shit. Nigga, I ain't no shame in my game for sure. I was broke. That's Sean. not weird though. 
That's not weird. Eating cereal that's out not, of the yeah, uh, that's not weird. I didn't I, actually. I don't want a regular bowl. Give me the big bowl. I need a big bowl, big spoon for the cereal, bro. Oh yeah, no, nah, I was I was I was eating diabetes worth of, of cereal. I seen Friday once my nigga and poured a whole box in this big ass cake bowl. Come on, and man. was I was not playing, nigga. Nah, man. I'm trying to think of something that I I'd never do that shit now, nigga. My whole my whole sweet palate is fucked up. I can't eat chocolate. I can't eat none of that shit. Oh, I I did get reckless once in college. I I had uh we were at this girl's crib. She was at like a little pregame, and there was no cups, so. I had she had just like repotted a plant, so I like rinsed it out real quick, checked it. Yeah, you know saying looked good and poured me up a little drink, and that that's pretty reckless. Drank out of a potted plant, but the, it was it just re, it was empty. It was an empty pot. Yeah, you know saying so like I had just it had just got empty, so I rinsed it, dropped a little dropped a little bit in there. It's oh That's that's pretty bad. I, that might be the winner. I don't that, know. That, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. This is like yeah, 18 I, years old, though. I don't think I have anything that tops that. I mean, I I drank out of a measuring cup before, and um, I, I mean, no, 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 like, no, no, no. Um, I like I, what is it? A fucking regular measuring cup. Fucking did you measure flour in? Oh, okay. Them, them like red plastic ones like that. Yeah. yeah. The pirates. Um, is that shit, that's the elite measuring cup. The yeah, I, no. And, uh, and, and um, uh, I mean, I, I ate off of a cardboard box before. Like a shoe, I, you know, I took a shoe box and put a slice of pizza on it as my plate. But I don't feel like that's weird. Like, I feel like that's just my some nigga, broke college shit. That's very poor. That's all that shit is. I, uh, I, I drank out of a ladle. Like, a, that's a good one. What's a, that's a big spoon. Oh, okay. The shit that you, you, you get the soup with? Like the punch. Yeah. But yeah. Like a punch small. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drink I, I saw some shit on TikTok. Like, are you in the, am I in the trenches or no? And this dude made, uh, he was made, he used the iron to heat up his skillet to oh, make yeah. some eggs in it. Yeah. And they were like, nah, you're not in the trenches, bro. You, you out on outside on the curb. It's over with. Like, so yeah, it gets yeah. like that. People do grilled cheese sandwiches with an iron. I've seen that. Yeah. You know what? I was about to say I did that. I seen it on TV though. I shouldn't have been doing it because we wasn't that poor and I got my ass beat for doing that. I, <laughs> I put it in the paper bag and I was like, I thought that shit was sweet. She like, nigga, that's for your clothes, not for the food. My grandma beat my ass. I thought that shit was fire though. Uh, that's great. That's great that she announced it right before she beat your ass. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure, it was always life lessons with the ass beatings. Yo, shout out, shout out to my guy uh, Roy Wood Jr. He made an appearance as a principal. <laughs> when, oh yeah, when he man. said, "What do you know about this?" And he said, uh, "He said, oh, you know, uh, she came to her house like that, like he, you know, danced this all over." And he said, "It's weird that you would just volunteer such damning information." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, that's why, that's why I was hesitating. I didn't know how much you knew. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> The argument between uh, Kevin and <laughs> and Dan was so classic. He's like, "Yo, you brought him back here. Now he knows where we live. You can kill us." Da da da. da. And then my man called and said, "Yeah, man, she was with him and and that woman teacher, whatever. I tell him I'm gonna fuck him up when I see him." He's like, "You don't see? You see? I told you he's dangerous." Is <laughs> like, because <laughs> it's, it's in a weird way. Like I kind of saw both of their points. Yeah. I liked I liked honestly how he was he 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 changed his tone and still called her a bitch. Oh, he's like, like you can't be yelling and cussing in here. It's like you got to pick one. He's like, okay, this bitch here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but nah, that shit was hilarious because at the end of the day, like dog, he was just he was like, nigga, how you gonna tell me about my family? Like it was crazy. And then he tried to make a valid point, and Roy Woods was like, nah, bro. You still fired. Oh, yeah. That's a good, yeah, that was a good speech, though. I, that was a good yeah. speech, though. Also, yeah, you got to go. Yeah, that's that was going to be the whole... Hey, that was going to be the end of the whole she, way. Why is she in bigger trouble, though? Because she the vice principal, and she's supposed oh. to be... And it was her house. You, well, it was a lot of shit that trickled down. The birth control. First of all, hosting her. Like, she... For, they were the worst fucking teachers ever, bro. Like, if, uh, in the school. The, and also Zayna's. 
Oh, Zane is trash. Trash, man. Like, she doesn't easily, strike easily. me as a student that you want to help because I feel like she snitches on you off top. She did. She, and and they brought dog in. Shout out to Dan not pulling out, bro. Said, that that That's not true. Wait, time out. Said, Has it been confirmed that Dan's gotten some? Because yeah. I don't think... He yeah, got yeah, some this episode. Yeah, yeah he's yeah he's had sex multiple multiple he's times. Finished, yeah, with, with her. Yes. Yeah. The, 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 when he said when the the episode where uh, Kevin said, "Yo, don't mind him. He's just about to lose his virginity." Like <laughs> that episode, he smashed. Like, hey, he I, I mean, I just want to. The reason why I was laughing so hard because that nigga Jerb was reading that motherfucking article <laughs> in disgust. Yeah. He was discovering it on <laughs> live. That's shit crazy. And, the LaCro the LaCroix? Yeah, bro. Oh, I bet wow. he was out here. To... Look at I it, thought bro. I, I thought I was fancy as in love. I'm like, yeah, you know, my little soda alternative up in this bitch. I got all types of flavors. <laughs> berry, mango, tangerine. Hey, yeah. What you need, my G? Hey, them shits is covered straight from different Philly projects. <laughs> the roaches. <laughs> they probably... <laughs> Y'all niggas, get the fuck out of here. Hey, you already know you ain't gonna die, my nigga. You're straight, bro. Hey, but no, um, also, they get to the bar, they get lit. This nigga forgets to lock the door. I knew something was up as soon as the door didn't lock. What, what is I'm that? like, what is that gonna be? What do you think that's gonna, how's that gonna play? You, you didn't see well, the he end? Sh well, he shot the nigga. He shot the he shot, nigga. He, he, yes. sh he shot the nigga. Oh, I didn't finish the episode. Damn. Yeah, so he shot the nigga. So CPS showed up for Zayna, like right. to ask some questions, opened up the door. And the nigga kept knocking and he said, hey, and Drew had his gun by him cocked right. and shot him off of just like, you know, sleep. Oh, damn. So, so, not the last, time out. First of all, was this the last episode? Was this the season finale? One more. One more. One more. Ten, ten, okay. Because that, 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 that cliffhanger was season finale esque. Like, right. listen, if Kevin go to jail for this, nah, he's not going to jail. He's going to help him get rid of the body. I think that I think that's when yeah, they really yeah, gonna yeah. they gonna yeah. they gonna they gonna end this is the thing they gonna call it a truce for him chopping up the because you know he supposed to be a specialist the nigga got the motherfucking apron with the glasses he gonna they gonna get rid of the body for sure Man. that's sick though they why haven't they renewed it for this why haven't they confirmed season two yet though what's up I don't know how that shit work but yeah, yeah I, I hope that's ain't it because that shit is fucking hilarious dog. Uh, yeah, I thought it worked. I thought they usually announced it before the shit was over with. But I guess it's, it could, it's it always different. Yeah. It depends. It's a pandemic. Mm. Huh. Oh, I see what you did there. Uh, <laughs> uh, Y'all want to talk about power? Yes. Oh, yes. Let me, let me so. Power, power be having some overacting motherfuckers, huh? Oh my God, man! Oh, Why? Who who overacted in this episode, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> who didn't overact? <laughs> man, let me, first of all, let me shout out to the, my man D Wiz who got shot. He reminds me of a young Waz. I, <laughs> I can see yeah. that. It's about like it's, it's, when, he, when he was walking to go watch the movie, and he's like, "Yo, hop in." When Lulu was like, "Yo, hop in the car," like. I was going to go, when he started talking about, oh, shit, that's Waz, man. Like, uh, Waz when he's not certain. That's what he looked like. <laughs> when, he's not, um, yeah, when he's not certain. Why'd they kill D-Wiz? I'm not sure. Because he was, you know, uh, he, he for one, he was talking, he was talking about who got the body. So he was already making it hot. His brother came home and gave him the guns. So that was already kind of root of the bad trouble. And then, you know, just in general, he just didn't want, you know, the mom just wanted to clean it up. That doesn't yeah. Like a, <laughs> no, it don't make no, it don't it don't no, make it, it a makes, reason to it kill makes, the nigga. It makes, but... it makes perfect sense though the, the killing. Honestly, okay. The mom is the mom is the boss, right? Okay. Everyone thinks her son caught the body. You got the young boy saying, what "Yo, I caught the body." Right, he did. But the young is saying, "Yo, I caught the body." So if you kill him, you can put the body on him, and now your son lives. Uh, yeah, exactly okay. right. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Can no. can is, is good now. I mean, outside of his conscience eating him, so, and then so uh, the Jumba is, knowing. The idea is like the guy who actually shot Buck is dead now. And yeah, so yeah. So he got the heat off of him now. It's you taken care of. Yeah. Gotcha. But hey, in true power fashion, shout out the power for being consistent. They said, my man's about to die. We got to get him some before he leaves. Get him some cheeks. 
He's gotta have he's gotta have his annual power sex scene. It had to happen. Hey, he was because- fucking he was smacking that shit in the fucking box, nigga. I was I hadn't watched it when you guys started texting about like here come power again, someone sex scene then dead. So he had the sex scene, but so did uh Rock, and I was like, okay, now hold on now. Who's gonna is Symphony gonna die? Is D Wiz gonna die? That's a sick name too, Symphony oh, for my man. She asked her, yo, what's up with them buildings? Then they gave her a dissertation. Uh, well, my man, what are you doing, man? Yo, Rock came over with one agenda, and my man straight said, "No, no, let's take it slow." I was like, "Wait, what?" No, the, you know, hey, listen, if you like to take it slow, you take. I think it look like Ime Udoka, bro. He look like Shamar Moore, Ime Udoka. He look, he looked like yeah, like Shamar Moore Jr. Like, he was one of them yeah. niggas, but the the funniest the shape shit up is too. trash too. By the way, oh, yeah. it's sick. Sick judging judging men, bro. They didn't have him, they didn't have them lines yet. 80s, um, 80s, it's the 80s. Come on, Jerv. Nah, dog. I'm feeling Big, the 80s. Yeah, we had hair. Nah, we had, we had haircuts, all right, my nigga. Feeling sure. everything, stuff. bro. We not gonna believe that. <laughs> Big Daddy Kane's the first nigga to make that shit crack. Here y'all niggas go. Just because a New York nigga made it national, don't mean other niggas wasn't doing this shit, yo. Now you, now all y'all right. got me hot, yo. Now I got right. hot, yo. <laughs> yo, fuck out of here. Yo, I right, hate so how everybody just. All right, so who the. Who was the first nigga to have it in Philly? I don't know, dog. My uncle probably had that shit. I don't know. But somebody <laughs> had that shit before Big Daddy came, my nigga. Hey, all I'm going to say is niggas was still rocking the unevens with Eddie Murphy and whatnot. Yep. yep. But um, No, that's cool. I'm just talking about his head. Like, all right, you know what? My I nigga. see what this is. The truth is over. I get it. I get it. I tried to wear the vote shirt to bring some 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 light back to Philly today. <laughs> Y'all niggas ain't feeling it. It's all good. Y'all see what this is. I see what hey, it bro, is. Hey, bro, you knew what happened, bro. Me said after January, this shit was fair game, bro. No. You don't get no more brotherly love. Fuck out of here. I, I gave them. I well, at first I gave them until after the like the end of the year. Then we extended it to like the inauguration day. So uh, you got okay, you. You had your time. You had your time. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I appreciate you. Uh, so, all right. So, D Wiz is dead. Kanan is watching the the uh, stash house. I guess as punishment or uh, to keep him out of trouble. Uh, the, my man really blew it on him. Like you, you think I'm your teacher, nigga? I'm your. Think I'm your babysitter. He a funny nigga too, cause he's in there playing mm-hmm. video games. Yeah, bored as shit. I mean, I don't know how you could be bored if you got a TV and, and video games and stuff, right? Like, they can enjoy. I it. mean, and it's, it's the stash house, right? Like, I feel like anything you need, you'll have there because they they, they don't need you to sit on the stash house. Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, yeah. Nah. Go ahead. What about uh, uh the other uncle from fucking Ballers? I can't remember his name. Marvin. Marvin. Oh yeah, he's a Marvel sick nigga. You talking about the nigga with the flat top, the high top, yeah, look like yeah. Teddy Riley? My man from from Ballers, bro. He is he, is he just a rumbler like that? Because like they didn't seem concerned that he was rumbling like six niggas. Nah, like, he was know. he was wilding though. He the type of nigga that's gonna die over his dick. You know what I mean? Making yep. bad decisions because mm-hmm. they like yo, we trying to run a business and you trying to throw a party. Like yep. <laughs> sick, yo, it's checks out on people's head. My niggas like. Yo, try this park, you know. You know what yeah, I'm saying? He was locked in. But honestly, I, I think he got a hidden agenda though. What are you gonna say to me? I won't lie, the funniest thing was that when they they were discussing, they walk away, he looked at him like, You're both invited. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, man. Because I thought he was gonna be like, ah, fuck y'all, y'all can't come through. But instead he's like, You're both invited. But uh yeah, Sick no, nigga. He, he definitely has an agenda and it has to do with old girl. Yeah, like the thing is he gonna make her his Why girl, you? he gonna bail out, yeah. he gonna be fucking her, and then they're gonna take over the club. And that's how they're going to start selling shit out of there. So mm-hmm. I really think that he has an agenda because obviously that that storefront is only going to do so much. You need more and more private yeah, right. type of locations, you know what I'm saying, on some takeover shit. Mm-hmm. And I do think that that's how motherfuckers going to start growing the business and they really going to start taking over. The Colombian dude is 100% going to die within like two hours. I was just about to say that. He has to die. The, the uncle's going to kill him. So, yeah, somewhat like as soon as we saw a girl with the black eyes, like, oh, that nigga's dead. He might be out of here next episode on a low next if they episode. actually give him some TV time. Should we bring back the power? Does he get a sex scene first? <laughs> exactly. He's smashing the wife. <laughs> or no, he's cheating on He's going to be cheating on her because they always got to make it seem like you did something wrong. He's a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Who, uh, okay, so, so let's, let's bring back the power, power ranking. Like, who is the most likely to die? Number one for me is Colombian dude. Yeah, he's out of there. He's free smoke. 
But then I think uh I think the mom gonna go soon. It's gonna be one of the uncles. It's gonna be a nah, Colombian dude. Nah, she can't. She can't go yet. She, she yeah. can't go yet. No, Rock, she ain't gonna last. Rock this the thing to the end, man. You think then, Rock's gonna last to the end? Her death is what's gonna make Kanan like tough or whatever. That's come on, man. But I th but I think Kanan starts becoming a dog like in the middle. I don't think so. I you don't think, think so? Well, first of all, he's a, he's going to get two seasons out of this for sure, right? Like they're giving us two seasons. Rock, if anything, just goes to jail at the end of this season or something. No, she's gonna die, bro. She's she gonna die for <laughs> sure. He has to die for the transformation to be complete. For him to be a cre creating a monster, he becoming a monster. She teaching him all the game he possibly can learn. I feel like the last shit, she gonna try. She gonna die trying to save Kanan. Yeah, something like that. It's gonna be something uh, like that. Which uncle gonna die? I kind of feel like the cool the one who's gonna die. The cool one. Don, the Lulu. The cool one going to die. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the one who took out his boy. Yep. Lulu, he going to die. He just too active. He too, and also, he too cool. Too cool. Too cool. Way he's too, actually kind of too, too cool for power, to be way honest with you. Cool. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually not a power character. He rem Yeah, no. He, 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 yeah, he'll he die. I got another name for you guys. The white girl. Not the club white girl, but the prep school white girl that's missing with Jukebox. Oh, Jukebox girl? She going to die. <laughs> Nah, nah I, 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 she's too irrelevant to die. You're gonna have an overdose or some shit like that, man. She oh, okay. She can that's, that's fair. And then get the internal squad and, fired and up. Ju jukebox. That's how jukebox. Like some every all these people have to. Transform. Yeah, some somebody gonna transform because jukebox was fucked up in power. The original. She uh, didn't look like whatever yeah. she was supposed to be. Like she went to a life of crime immediately. So you some don't think the white girl dies though. The other white girl. She probably oh, gonna be. She, 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 she gives me Holly she vibes or whatever. She, she might, whatever but she was. might be out of here though. Might, she might be out of here. Uh, who else was gonna say? Uh, there's one more person. Oh, uh, old girl, the girl that Kanan likes, who's was Buck's girlfriend. She going. What's her name? I don't know. Is she going. No, I mean, I mean, like, is she is she someone that we heard about before in no, in Old no, Power? No, okay, no, okay. But I, I'll tell you who she's gonna be. Remember Sean. You got Sean's mama right there. I did the math. It all checks out. Oh. He gonna knock her up with Sean. Maybe she's not gonna die then. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot of people that's gonna the people that you count now, I think they gonna stick. I think Joey Badass dies. How how do y'all feel about prequels, period? Like us see like us seeing the regular shit and then going back and then trying to dissect it. Are you a fan of the prequel? It depends. Depends on yeah. if it's well done. I think Soprano, you see that Sopranos one that's coming out. That's gonna uh -oh. be well done, sir. Looks fire. I'm yes. ready for BMF though. BMF looked dope. BMF looked dope, but like to answer the question, that Sopranos one because they got uh, James Gandolfini's son. To mm. play oh, that's his son in real life. That's his son in real life. Oh wow. Okay. Did you ever watch, did you ever watch the Deuce on HBO? The one no. About no, I saw it though. Is it worth watching? Fire. Yes, absolutely watch it. What really well done, but he was in that and he was really good in that. So I'm gonna check out the deuce for sure. HBO yeah. always got the heat, bro. They got the heat. They yeah, I don't, I don't, heat. I don't think, I don't think they ever, uh, I don't, you think, don't, think, don't think they, they ever, ever like flopped. I ain't never seen them oh, drop some shit. They flopped. Oh, Hold on. oh, they flopped, my man. We've, oh, we've reviewed some of the we've, we've reviewed, reviewed some, some of the flops, flops we've brother. Some of their flops. <laughs> Which just, ones? I just, I don't know if you saw Jake Robinson hit, hit an alien with his baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, he will never give up. He'll never give up that scene. Jack Wait, Robinson. what is that? Lovecraft. The first scene of the first episode. You ever seen Lovecraft, Lovecraft Country? Uh-uh. Oh, don't. Okay. You check, um, yeah, you should check it out. Yo, you might like you might like Lovecraft it. Country. Hey man, for, this is very anti-black reviews, man. I will not stand for this. <laughs> we love Flatbush. We love uh we love power. Did you like Watchmen? Because that was HBO also. Watchmen was dope. Ah, Watchmen yeah, was I like Watchmen. Watchmen. Look at Jerv, Jerv. Your fucking opinion stinks, dog. I love you like a play cousin. <laughs> I mean, here, here we go. Y'all always say my opinions stink. I'm just like, niggas got bad taste. I'm sorry. I have I have high class taste with my television. You like fancy high water. Class. I like fancy television. But you don't like fancy television, Jerry. That's the point. I, I do. I just don't want to. I don't need to see fucking Jackie Robinson kill an alien with a baseball bat or the blue naked dude just walking around 
and everybody got masks on. Like I'm cool. That shit wasn't for me. Doctor, and life is life is overrated. Damn, life is overrated. <laughs> is the one that really gets you in trouble, man. Yeah. Like I think you could get away with like shitting on Watchmen, but like life is over. By the way, all the all your friends that hate me. Do they also hate life, or do they give you shit about that? No, I mean, I, I'm I'm pretty much on that hill by myself, and I'm okay with that because I like to think that people just have shitty takes, and you know, I, I I'm able to see things clearer than some people, and it's okay. I don't get hung up with the names that are in the movie. I mean, I'm here for the context it's, of the film. It's not about the names, man. It's a <laughs> funny movie. It's a, a genuinely. You know what's a funny movie with names in it? Harlem Nights. That's a funny movie. Harlem Nights is funny too. It's not a it's not a competition, man. Like they can both exist and be funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you're doing there, man. I'm looking uh, through these HBO shows. There's a lot of heat in here. Yo, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the flops. I'm gonna tell you the flops. The okay. One with the horses was a flop. The one with the horse. horses. Yeah. yeah. Uh um the shit about uh secretary or whatever it yeah, was. Dustin, oh, secretary? No, no, no. It was yeah. a, it was a show. Dustin Hoffman was in it. It was a show. It was about betting on horses, and that shit was. Oh, like, I know what you're talking I don't about. Remember yeah. that? Um, uh, I always thought girls was boring as shit. Yo, girls was whack, and Lena Dunham is whack, bro. I don't fuck yeah. with Shorty. Yeah, Lena I agree Dunham. with that. Uh, what he said. I always thought that uh, Six Feet Under was kind of whack too. Like I could never get into it. I never seen that either. Yeah, man. What was the polygamous one? That was uh, that. Did oh, you like that? Uh, Big Love. Yeah. Right. Like I wasn't like. I, I thought it was good. Uh, oh, here's another one. It started great, but then it ended trash. Oh my True god! I, I just True saw blood. that. Yeah. True, True blood. blood. I just blood. saw the. I just Wait, saw True Blood is back. Oh, he, he, no, he just, Dexter's he, back though for people that that used to watch Dexter. I'm saying niggas out here talking about Suki. Yeah, so, so okay. I hey, just dog, saw that. I don't know if we can say I don't know if we can say this or not, but uh, on, Suki on, must on. have had. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no! I just saw the thumbnail for Lovecraft Country, and I'm never even clicking on that shit. How did y'all? <laughs> even, I'm never watching that, bro. Y'all, okay, for I real? ain't no rat, but somebody on I'll this. I'll pay the fine, bro. I suggested oh, that. Right. Okay, yeah. My look, nigga, I, just know, I just know it wasn't me. Trey. All, I mean, uh, it wasn't me. Never. Sure. never. Hey, niggas. Hey, niggas out here talking about they ain't gonna rap, man. You niggas be bad, I, Jer. I ain't no snitch. You be out here. I ain't no snitch, Jer. Jer. Like, I just, oh, I Jer. Snitch. You be out here snitch. I got, I got another be one snitched for you. Out. What's the one from uh, with with uh, the uh, turned out to be a monster thing? At first, it was like, how is how was this murder happened when this guy was like a hundred miles away? It just what was the, the not the undoing. What was it called? The um, damn man. I can't believe I can't remember it. Y'all know what I'm I know you're not about talking about night of. Not not the night of. Because okay. it turned into a monster thing. After oh. Is this new or old though? It came out last year. I probably didn't watch that shit. Hold on. HBO series, and I think Jason Bateman was in it. The outsider. The outsider. Oh, no, yeah, no, I didn't watch that. I, I didn't like, watch that either. Yo, it started fire. It was like, yo, this show is really good. Da, da, da. And then it and spoiler alert, it turns into like there's a monster or some demon, and I'm like. What are we doing? Like we had a good show going here, and then we just decided to make it silly. The only the only show that I watch that has monsters in it is uh, what's the shit that comes on Netflix? Um, it's the kids move. It's the kids book show. Um, Stranger Things. Oh. That's the only monster shit I watch. I've never watched it. By the way, another terrible show, Ballers. Terrible show. Yeah, that's a terrible. Okay. Shout to Jojo. Well, shout to my man Jojo though. I got lit with him. But it's I, not terrible. Oh, no, it's just man, not good. My my, my man Ant, uh, who plays uh, the wide receiver, whose mama is fucking uh, John David Washington's character. Remember that in season mm, one? Mm -hmm. That's my guy. Like that's my guy, man. I grew up with that guy, man. But that show is. Mm. It, it. I'll say this. It was what it was. Like it, they weren't yeah. trying to sell us on like a deep ass show. It was yeah, just like yeah. some. You know it, what I'm saying? It's like power. They're like yeah. right. You know what you mm -hmm. This is what it is. Yeah, I watched the first couple seasons and I stopped after that. But yeah, it was. Sad. I watched it to the end. I watched it to the end. Hey, and, and it was only. Sometimes it was only you gotta 30, see it through. It was only thirty minutes. I'm like, cool. Thirty minutes. We could get through minutes. this. This is. I, wa this ain't no I watched the whole thing, bro. I, not one thing that I missed. I went through the whole thing. Uh, let's see what else. What other shows that I've seen that are? Were you a fan of Entourage? Not really. I mean, like it was all right. I never saw the big deal. Ah, uh, see, maybe that uh, was just my. 
Maybe no, that was just my like high school time. I thought that loved it. Sean, I'm in, I'm in a minority. Most yeah. people loved it. I, I oh, thought it was like, Finney chasing the chasers. That was like <laughs> oh, that was like oh four oh five. Like, I like when I was in rough. high school, and I was like, this is this Most is what me and all the homies want to be like. This shit is crazy. See, I don't drink Jaeger, boys. <laughs> it was all right. It was all right. Yo, I'd had the rumble, boy. I'm not gonna lie. I had a story after after like the third. Yo, yo, it's the I don't drink Jaeger dudes, and then you say what up, Jerv? Like, I, like that's when I turn to y'all. Like, yo, I'm about to just still do. Like, just just get ready. Like, it, it's we rumbling today. And what's his name? Is from Chicago. Uh, oh. the agent, Ari. 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 Yeah. Oh, Ari, yeah. go. Right, yep. cool. yeah. Yo, he's like a creeper in real life right in real life that's what they say yeah damn okay uh, I hate one, to hear one, it one more one more thing i got for you that's the worst thing you could be called awful started started with this spark but then now you're just garbage right westworld season yeah. one of westworld was, and then season like, season two? two season two and then after that season two was i was i was actually in for season two season three I was like, what the fuck is going on? But season so, four, are we going to be, we back? See, this what, season four? We yeah. back meaning what? Six. They got six seasons greenlit. Well, let, let me tell you something, brother. Uh, after season <laughs> one, after, after season <laughs> one. Uh, hey, who the fuck did Jerry become? That nigga said, let me, listen here, brother. Nigga turned <laughs> into a hoagie, nigga. Duh, after season one, I watched the first episode of season two. I remember getting in an argument with Amin and Jade saying, yo, this show is trash. No, you got to give it time. You know, da, 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 da. that shit sucks. I'm not watching it. If y'all say we watching it, I'm not watching that shit. Season one was fire. Season one was fire. One of the best seasons of TV I've ever seen. Season two, I'm with you, Trey. I just, I got confused after a while. I'm like, yo, like this is yeah, way. I mean, any show like Lovecraft, first of all. No, not like Lovecraft. No, no, no! I'm just, I'm just saying, like any show, any no, show fam. that confuses. <laughs> no, I'm on my own. Hey, I'm, 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 Will, I'm Will Smith in the room, looking around. Like, but, hey, all I'm gonna say is, is that, uh, pretty much any show that I don't know and I gotta overthink, it's, it's pro- probably on good. Like, it's not, it's not, it's not great. Yeah, yeah like, I, I, Lovecraft wasn't even making me. I don't like, like Easter eggs. eggs. I don't like Easter eggs in the show. Lovecraft was I, even an Easter egg show. It was just bad. No, this is a bad yeah. show. I'm gonna peep the deuce because I, I peeped the, it, and I was gonna start it, and I'm like, yeah, okay. It's set in the '70s, and it's how like Times Square went from like the porn capital to like how they cleaned it up, basically. Yeah. But it's but it's it starts like in the depth of like the peep shows and shit like that. And yeah. Actually, it's, I shouldn't say porn capital because it starts before porn was a thing. Mm. And then it like explores how porn became a thing, like porn in theaters and then porn on tape. And then mm. like, oh, they're going to clean up 42nd Street and they're getting rid of all this shit. So it's it's a nice kind of like circle look of like everything. And it's great acting. You got uh, you got um, Franco is in it. You've got uh, yeah, I saw that. Maggie Gyllenhaal. You've got uh, what's my man uh, from Slim Charles from The Wire. Uh it's. I mean, it's got a great. It's the same dude that made the wire. It's the same. So it's a a great cast of, of characters. There. Okay, bet. Yeah, I'm a peep. Bro, we got one more episode before we get into Oz, oh, and I can't that, wait. Oh, start, oh, I told Jay, Jay was like, "No, you guys could do the whole thing." I'm like, yeah, man. We're gonna start from the beginning. I can't wait too, man. Oz. Oz was a good show. Oz is a good show, but I, you know what? I won't lie, Jerv. I'm curious because I'm saying Oz is a good show. Twenty years later. Mm. If I go back, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen reruns. I haven't seen anything. Will you I know, it's, something- you don't really hear many people bring like when they when you talk about like the greatest HBO shows, Oz doesn't come up as much. So it may not be a show that yeah. Look, I'm gonna tell you right now. If you're listening to this podcast right now and you're saying, "Oh, I'm, I'm excited to watch this Oz show," they're talking about. Yo, this isn't for the faint of heart. This isn't Mm-mm. you know on uh, on. Uh, Cinephobe, we got a saying, right? Like when some shit like the way we grew up, we call it 20th century, bitch. Like that's that's how we did things. 20th century, bitch. Pay phones, having to be wherever you're supposed to be on time or, or else, right? And 
Oz is a very 20th century bitch show. So if you got like 21st century, ma'am, sensibilities, I'm going to tell you right now, don't even get into it. What you want to talk about problematic? You're depicting prison. Prison. No. I, I, I'll never forget, man. I was telling my father, this was years ago when Oz was on. And he was like, uh, I, he's like, I was like, oh, man, he's saying like, you know, jail is like, he's, we're just talking about prison and how like it's a crazy thing. I'm like, yeah, man, there's a show called Oz, man. It's it's crazy. He's like, yeah, but they don't show all the things that happen in, in prison. I'm like, nah, dad, they show everything. He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Trust me, they don't show all the things that happen in prison. I'm like, no, they pretty much show everything. Like, no. <laughs> so then this is how we try to break it down. I was like, no, see, I mean, um, sometimes when men are locked away for a very long time, uh, they're so like missing women so much that they take other men and they treat them like they're women. And I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, dad, they show all of that. It's like, what? This is on TV? Like, I'm, like, dad, <laughs> I'm like, look, it's, it's aggressive. It's, but it's prison. I mean, that's what prison was, is like, I guess. Like it's not, I mean. Debuted in 97. So yeah. Mm. It was, in, it was the nineties. You had to be there. You had to be there. And a lot of y'all, some of y'all, 23, 24 years old, you think like, oh, you know, I've watched The Wire seven times. And like, this ain't The Wire, man. Wire was cute and cuddly. Oz is like, this is, yeah, this is the show. Oh, yeah. 07 to 03 is when it, or 97 to 03 is when it ran. What a, what a run. Wow. It, 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 it was that long of a run? I mean, that quick of a yeah, run? Yeah, bro. I, was, I, was, I feel like I was it was fun. longer than that. Yeah, 97 to 03. This is back before they did 10 episodes a season. Yeah. Okay. So this is back when, like, let me hold on. Oz, season one, episode list. Because I think they were like, because I know that from watching the the wire. What they were doing nine or eight? Oh, they were doing like create like fifteen. Yeah. Oh the shit. Mad long. Right. Because I, I thought it was like yeah, the wire's got like 13, 14 episodes, I think, per season, except for the last yeah, season. Long. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. List of Oz episodes, season one. Well, I just remember here. That's just, another clip that'll get clipped of a mean. And that the internet no, will fry. You said this one about had 18 episodes. You, I mean, real talk, I mean, you don't you don't strike me as the type of nigga that watches the watch uh eyes, bro. I'm just gonna be real. Like you don't strike me as really? that type of guy. Damn, so you trying <laughs> hey slap this nigga of me first. First Michael Wright say you don't look like a nigga that drink henny, and then this nigga saying you don't watch Oz. Mm -hmm. Slap this man. I remember hearing about Oz, and it was like the first show where it was like this is some real TV sh like this is the real the real shit this is like HBO this is HBO this is what this is oh, yeah. HBO type shit so yeah that's man like that's it, it had I'm to come on after nine o'clock and ten o'clock I forget I don't know what time but I promise you it didn't come on at eight yeah. like that was a nine or ten o'clock show <laughs> type thing <laughs> right everybody go to bed yeah <laughs> night, night, night. <laughs> I'm uh, watching Oz Watching Oz. So, okay. So, next week will be the last episode of Flatbush uh, Misdemeanors. We'll review that. And so, two weeks from now, two bomb episodes from now, we start the Oz rewatch. And I suggest everybody kind of pace yourselves. We're like, because I don't want people to go like talk about what's happening in season two. We still on episode one. So, pace yourselves. Watch it along with us. We'll do it episode by episode. You need to have HBO Max or, I guess, a really good friend who has HBO Max to watch this. I actually or or if you still got a DVD player, buy the box set of Amazon. <laughs> I got the box set. I do have the box set. Got it from Hollywood Video back in the day. Uh, uh, we got Rest in peace, else? Hollywood Video. Yeah. How many no, discs? How many discs is it? I mean, how many what? It has to be like five. It? Oh, it was like five. Yeah, like five yeah. or six discs. Five or six. Yeah, something like that. So, four big Jerv, four black Trey, four producer Sean. My name's Amin. This has been Black Opinions Matter, motherfucker. Remember, patreon.com slash count the dings. Catch all the exclusive content, the special edition episodes for Cinephobe, the uh, the overflow episodes from Bomb, the live show episodes. We had another one last week, as I said. So make sure you tapped in on all that. And as always, stay black, motherfucker.